Today we are hiking to Strawberry Peak, and as you can tell, I made it. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, my name is Jamie McCracken. Today I am back in the Angeles National Forest. Below me, you see the Angeles Crest Highway. We parked over there at the Red Box Canyon and we are headed to Strawberry Peak. Behind me, by the way, you will see some snowy mountain peaks. We're not headed all the way over there, but we are headed up to a 6,100 foot peak. So we are gonna be gaining some elevation today. I think it's about a 1,800 feet of elevation that we will be gaining today. It's about a four mile hike up, four mile hike back. So we're looking at about an eight mile trek to eight and a half. But I'm really excited to get up there and let's do this guys, second adventure of the 2022 season. When you get to this section, it's kind of split off. You see this really long wash that goes up to there. And you don't want to turn left. Just keep veering right, right here. And the trail is right here. And just continue up. So when you get to this point, don't veer left. Just stay straight and right. If you are going to do this hike in the summer, I will highly recommend definitely wear sunblock and definitely be prepared for little to no shade. Of course, I'm doing this in the beginning of January. It's only like 55 degrees. There's no sun because we just have kind of like an overcast today here in Southern California and in, in the San Gabriel Mountains. So, you know, that's not bothering me at all, but I can see where so much exposure of this trail, you know, there's really no shade at all. So, just be prepared for that if you were to do this hike in June, July, August, or September. Just turned the bend where you can see the top of Strawberry Peak. You can see it right there. It looks like an upside down strawberry. That's why they call it Strawberry Peak. But I did watch a YouTube video uh, from thehikingguy.com and he kind of joked about how most of these peaks look like upside down strawberries. I think this one just in particular really looks like it because it has a nice solid divot that you would see kind of in a strawberry on the bottom of it or if it was flipped upside down. So uh, pretty cool though, either way, it's a cool name for a mountain. first break of the day I did about 3.4 miles but I've got to say the last four or five hundred yards has been pretty gnarly I mean we're talking about class one class two scrambling even to get up here so it's made this day and hike even more worth it and the views just keep getting better and better you see the snow-capped mountains way in the distance here in the San Gabriel Mountains and I just took my first drink of water and when I opened the bottle it went and that is because, yes, we are at elevation at about 5,600 feet. By the time we get up to Strawberry Peak, it'll be 6,100 feet. So we still got about 500 uh, feet of climbing. And there's also like a little bit of rain coming down right now, just very little. So uh, this has been an adventurous day, uh, especially toward the latter end as we get up to Strawberry Peak. So let's continue on and uh, hopefully make it up there. This is how you know you're at elevation. <laughs> the snow is still up here. We still got a decent amount to go. You 
can see downtown Los Angeles from clear up here, even though it's a pretty much a cloudy day. I mean, you can barely see the sun. Look at that, clear views all the way into downtown Los Angeles. Wow. that is the peak this is a false summit <laughs> so I believe the peak is right up here we have made it to strawberry peak 6165 feet above sea level it is gorgeous up here in the San Gabriel mountains I'm so happy I completed this and I'm so happy the sign is back Yes, we did it. What's your name? Recording? Jennifer. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Behind you? Garrett. Garrett. Show Garrett. Yeah, Garrett! <laughs> Show yourself, Jennifer! Woo! <laughs> I am so freaking happy that I made it up here and accomplished what is pretty much my best hike of 2022 so far. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this adventure. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just gorgeous up here and I highly recommend it. Just be ready because the last mile and a half is pretty gnarly to get up here, but it's so worth it and amazing, amazing. down to the car and whew, this should be a little bit easier maybe or a little bit harder because we got some crazy steep drop-offs and it's begun to rain so and the temperature has dropped so yeah and I have to have my hood on because it's just cold so I am headed back down now I did exactly four miles to get up there so if you're wondering the stats is exactly 4.0 miles and a little bit over 1,500 feet of elevation gain which now I've got to go all the way back down so uh, I gotta pay attention though I probably won't film a ton as water drips on my camera oh well I probably won't film a ton but I will give you an update once I get to the car so here we go Woohoo! <laughs> We have made it down to the Red Box Canyon parking lot. There's the Strawberry Peak, the first sign you see. We've done it. That was an awesome adventure. I cannot wait to take my boots off. My feet are kind of feeling it right now, but that was just a perfect adventure for the weekend. Strawberry Peak, excellent hike. We did 1,599 feet of elevation gain, just one foot shy of 1,600 feet. It's about 7.9 to eight miles total there and back. So yeah, it was excellent guys. Really hope you enjoyed the adventure as always. And if you did, I would appreciate the thumbs up, the like button. And if you would subscribe, that would be awesome too. But only if you enjoy the adventures, which if you made it this far, I'm pretty sure that you enjoy these. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. A little bit of a flat section. You see some of the snow has not melt from three or myself right, let's try this one more time need this to stay right there so god dang it i can't do this i'm like cold that's why